He sent his word and healed them. Psalms 107 verse 20. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things he does for me. He forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. Psalm 103 verses 2 through 3. He took our sicknesses and removed our diseases. Matthew 8 verse 17. I will restore you to health and I will heal you of your wounds, declares the Lord. Jeremiah 30 verse 17. Then shall your light break forth like the dawn and your healing shall spring up speedily. Isaiah 58 verse 8. Listen carefully to my words. Don't lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep into your heart, for they bring life to those who find them and healing to their whole body. Proverbs 4 verse 20 through 22. The man said, if you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said, be healed. Matthew 8 verses 2 through 3. He asked you to preserve his life and you granted his request. Psalm 21 verse 4. I will not die. Instead, I will live to tell what the Lord has done. Psalm 118 verse 17. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Then you will have healing for your body and strength for your bones. Proverbs 3 verses 7 through 8. The Lord will remove from you all sickness. Deuteronomy 7 verse 15. Stretch out your hand with healing power. May miraculous signs and wonders be done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. Acts 4 verse 30. Are any of you sick? You should call for the elders of the church to come and pray over you, anointing you with oil in the name of the Lord. Such a prayer offered in faith will heal the sick and the Lord will make you well. James 5 verses 14 through 15. These signs will follow those who believe. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Mark 16 verses 17 through 18. I cried to you for help and you healed me. Psalm 30 verse 2. Moved with compassion, Jesus touched their eyes and immediately they regained their sight. Matthew 20, verse 34. If the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Romans 8, verse 11. Woman, you are freed from your sickness. Luke 13, verse 12. Go, and it shall be done for you, as you have believed. Matthew 8, verse 13. Do not be afraid, only believe. Mark 5, verse 36. Do you believe I can make you see? Yes, Lord, they told him, we do. And he touched their eyes and said, because of your faith, it will happen. Matthew 9, verse 28 through 29. I pray that in all respects, you may prosper 
and be in good health just as your soul prospers. 3 John 1 verse 2 Jesus said, Someone deliberately touched me, for I felt healing power go out from me. Daughter, he said to her, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Luke 8, verse 46 through 48. Don't be afraid. Just have faith, and she will be healed. Luke 8, verse 50. With people, it is impossible, but not with God, for all things are possible with God. Mark 10, verse 27. Whatever their sickness or disease, or if they were demon-possessed or epileptic or paralyzed, he healed them all. Matthew 4, verse 24. Jesus Christ heals you. Get up. Acts 9, verse 34. I have heard your prayer. I have seen your tears. Behold, I am going to heal you. 2 Kings 20, verse 5. He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. Acts 10, verse 38. Whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Mark 11, verse 24. If you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in His sight, give ear to His commandments and keep all His statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Exodus 15, verse 26. This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. John 11, verse 4. You will restore me and make me live. Isaiah 38, verse 16. But for you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings. You shall go out leaping like calves from the stall. Malachi 4, verse 2. This is my comfort in my affliction, for your word has given me life. Psalm 119, verse 50. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will also help you. I will also uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41, verse 10. He redeems me from death and crowns me with love and tender mercies. He fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like the eagles. Psalm 103, verses 4 through 5. Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are my praise. Jeremiah 17, verse 14. You shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from among you. Exodus 23, verse 25. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up. And immediately his feet and ankles were made strong. Acts 3, verse 6 through 7. 
and on the basis of faith in his name. It is the name of Jesus which has strengthened this man whom you see and know. And the faith which comes through him has given him this perfect health in the presence of you all. Acts 3 verse 16. Then Jesus said to him, Receive your sight. Your faith has made you well. Luke 18, verse 42. Woman, you are freed from your sickness. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she stood up straight again and began glorifying God. Luke 13, verses 12 through 13. In that very hour, he cured many of infirmities, afflictions, and evil spirits, and to many blind he gave sight. Luke 7, verse 21. He said, Young man, I say to you, arise. And the dead man sat up and began to speak. And Jesus gave him back to his mother. Luke 7, verse 14 through 50. He said to him, stretch out your hand. And he did so, and his hand was restored. Luke 6, verse 10. Everything he does is wonderful. He even makes the deaf to hear and gives speech to those who cannot speak. Mark 7, verse 37. Truly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says is going to happen, it will be granted to him. Mark 11, verse 23. He gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Isaiah 40, verse 29. Lord, help! They cried in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them, snatching them from the door of death. Let them praise the Lord for his great love and for the wonderful things he has done for them. Psalm 107, verses 19 through 21. No evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home. Psalm 91, verse 10. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 91, verse 14 through 16. So the Lord blessed Job in the second half of his life even more than in the beginning. Job 42, verse 12. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Psalm 34, verse 19. Today I am 85 years old. I am as strong now as I was when Moses sent me on that journey and I could still travel and fight as well as I could then. So give me the hill country that the Lord promised me. Joshua 14 verses 10 through 12. Look, I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy, and you can walk among snakes and scorpions and crush them. Nothing will injure you. Luke 10, verse 19. Until now, you have asked 
nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be full. John 16, verse 24. He sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Luke 9, verse 2. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed and restores them from their bed of illness. Psalm 41, verse 3. However, it was our sicknesses that he himself bore and our pains that he carried. Yet we ourselves assumed that he had been afflicted, struck down by God, and humiliated. But he was pierced for our offenses. He was crushed for our wrongdoings. The punishment for our well-being was laid upon him. And by his wounds, we are healed. Isaiah 53 verses four through five. They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Psalm 112, verse 7. The ropes of death entangled me. Floods of destruction swept over me. The grave wrapped its ropes around me. Death laid a trap in my path. But in my distress, I cried out to the Lord. Yes, I prayed to my God for help. He heard me from his sanctuary. My cry to him reached his ears. He reached down from heaven and rescued me. Psalm 18 verses 4 through 6 and verse 16. Have mercy on us and help us if you can. What do you mean, if I can? Jesus asked. Anything is possible if a person believes. The father instantly cried out, I do believe, but help me overcome my unbelief. Matthew 9, verses 22 through 24. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man who had been blind from birth. Rabbi, his disciples asked him, why was this man born blind? Was it because of his own sins or his parents' sins? It was not because of his sins or his parents' sins, Jesus answered. This happened so the power of God could be seen in him. John 9, verses 1 through 3. And Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of him, and the boy was healed instantly. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not cast it out? He said to them, Because of your little faith. For truly I say to you, If you have faith like a grain of mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. Matthew 17, verse 18 through 20. Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. 1 Peter 2, verse 24. And when Jesus went out, he saw a great multitude, and he was moved with compassion for them, and healed their sick. Matthew 14, verse 14. Now when the sun was setting, all those who had any who were sick with various diseases brought them to him, and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. Luke 4, verse 40. Fear of the Lord lengthens one's life, but the years of the wicked are cut short. Proverbs 10, verse 27. Afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, 
you are well. Sin no more, that nothing worse may happen to you. John 5, verse 14. For by me your days will be multiplied, and years of life will be added to you. Proverbs 9, verse 11. When you enter a town and are welcomed, eat what is offered to you. Heal the sick who are there and tell them the kingdom of God has come near to you. Luke 10, verses 8 through 9. It was by faith that even Sarah was able to have a child. Though she was barren and was too old, she believed that God would keep his promise. Hebrews 11, verse 11. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 91, verse 16. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be fresh and flourishing. Psalm 92, verse 13 through 14. And all the people were trying to touch him because power was coming from him and healing them all. Luke 6, verse 19. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23, verse 4. And whatever we ask, we receive from him because we keep his commandments and do the things that are pleasing in his sight. 1 John 3, verse 22. This is the confidence which we have before him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have the request which we have asked from him. 1 John 5, verse 14 through 15. For all the promises of God in him are yes, and in him, amen, to the glory of God through us. 2 Corinthians 1, verse 20. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set free those who are oppressed, to proclaim the favorable year of the Lord. Luke 4, verses 18 through 19. That evening they brought to him many who were oppressed by demons, and he cast out the spirits with a word and healed all who were sick. Matthew 8, verse 16. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. Luke 5, verse 17. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Hebrews 13, verse 8.